So let's uh, actually I should have switched into my robes. We can use the wooden one for that. Let's go ahead and switch that because that'll use up everything there. And then we just come here and we're going to right click on that. And there we go. We have our infusion altar. Hello and welcome to another episode of Regrowth Reloaded. Okay, as you can see we are standing in a crater. And what is this crater? Well, it used to be our low pressure boiler. Somehow, between, before last episode even, this thing exploded and blew a big hole in the ground. I, didn't see it until um, I actually went downstairs to use the AE system and there was no power. So I checked the, um, the biofuel generators, they were all running, then I came up here to discover this. So that blew out also our power line, this line that's coming up out of the ground here is from our biofuel. So all that was left here hooked up were these um, these heat generators and the wind turbines our um, energy cube was completely drained um, these of course weren't running because well as you can see here this has no steam in it our energy cube is now back full again but um, this you can see it part of that got blown apart too so we lost all that steam that was in there so what does that mean? Well, I don't think we need this anymore. The, um, the biofuel generators seem to be doing well enough with what they have. So I'm probably going to, between episodes, just take all this stuff down, put it away, kind of flatten the area out a little bit, um, clean up the mess. Um, we will leave the water tank here, I believe, because I think I'm going to leave um, these two evaporation uh, towers up for the time being because I don't know if we are completely finished with them yet. Um, yeah, uh, I just don't know, you know, where we're going next in the mechanism quest line as far as um, are we going to need to actually construct all that stuff to do the, um, the um, fusion reactor. Anyways, that's that. Let's head on over to our uh, bomb craft area here. And uh, let's get started on a couple things. Now, I did go ahead and I filled up both wands. I've been doing a little bit of work filling up some Essentia jars here. Um, I've got some extras over on this side because we've got tons of this Ordo and Ignis and Terra. Um, but I've got one of each of the ones I think we're going to be using today here. So, let's take a look in our quest book real quick. And we're going to come to chapter 11 here. And we're going to come down to uh, Neo Infusion. And um, let's go ahead and read this again. I think we read it in the last episode. But let's just refresh ourselves on it. Now that you've got yourself Essentia, time to figure out what you can do with it. Both the Arcane Work Table and Crucible are useful for crafting different things, but what if you could combine their methods for even more complex crafting, allowing you to combine multiple items together along with the Essentia to create something new? You think that, uh, that attuning a complex matrix to its surroundings as well as to natural V, you could create an altar that does exactly this. Okay. The first step would be develop a material to build the altar from. Simple stone might suffice if you can attune it to be using your wand in an arcane work table. Maybe some infused shards might help with that. So we did the arcane stone blocks last time. Now we need to make arcane stone bricks. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at that recipe. And that is um, four of those like that. So let's go ahead and come in here. I've already made some of this stuff, but... Let me grab some of these here. 
we need to make some arcane stone bricks. Now, I don't think they have to be done in here. Yeah, because it's not using any um, V to do that. So let's go ahead and make four of them. How many did we need for the quest? Four. All right. Next part. From this, you can create pedestals for mounting items, which the altar should be able to recognize. It may also be a key component for building the infusion matrix. Once you've got these components constructed, the altar. Once you've got these components, construct the altar as per the diagram in the Thamanamicon and activate it using V by right-clicking the runic matrix which you want. So, um, I've already made. It only wanted five arcane pedestals. I'm going to make 12. I've got a, a 10 of them already. I'm going to go ahead and make two more because this recipe does two. So it's just like this. Seven arcane block, or arcane stone blocks in kind of an eye shape will make two arcane pedestals. So that gives me my 12. And it used a little bit of our um, air essence. All right. So, the next thing that we need in here was the runic matrix. Will this show it to us? Yes. Okay, so this is four arcane stone blocks with an ender pearl, four shards of any color, and an ender pearl on a, the work table. And that takes 40 ordo. And that was the issue that we had last time. We didn't have enough ordo in our wand to do this. So let's go ahead and grab the rest of this. So those were those. There's that. And I just need four shards of any kind. I'm going to go ahead and grab these fire ones. Or ignis, I believe they are. No, fire shards. Okay. One, two, three, four. And our ender pearl. And that will give us our runic matrix. All right. Take a look in our quest book, and that's that. And it gives us four ethereal, ethereal essences. Let's go ahead and claim our reward. All right. So now we need to make our actual uh, runic altar here, or whatever it's called. Let me grab our Thamanomicon. And we're going to come back into Artifice. I believe that's where it's at. Yes. So we're coming into infusion. So this is the uh, runic matrix that we just crafted. These are the the pedestals. Uh, we had one that we found in that um, mausoleum thing uh, from the second map. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one in the middle because I know that's where it's going to go. But let's take a look again back in here. So now we need to put down four arcane stone bricks with four with arcane stone blocks on top of that and the runic matrix above the pedestal with a gap in between so let's try this out now this pedestal if I try to put something there let me go ahead and put one of these in there just to show you if I right click on it it's gonna float there and that's not what we want so let me See if I can pick that up. I think you just shipped right. How do you pick this thing up? All right, we'll do it this way. All right. Let me go ahead and put that back down. And then, so I'm going to get one of these blocks and we'll shift right click it. Now we don't want that. I'll that would probably work. It doesn't matter at the moment. I just need something there so that I can come up here and we're going to get our runic matrix. I'm going to put that on top of here. Like that. Let's go ahead and knock that back out so that's floating there. And then it was the arcane stone blocks. Here, 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 and then these arcane stone blocks on top of that, like that, 
and that should be everything. Let's go ahead and check our Dominomicon again. And yep, that's what it looks like. And then after we form it, we'll put down our pedestals. Or actually, we can put down our pedestals now. It doesn't really matter. So I want to place down pedestals like this. Now, it doesn't really matter as long as it balances out. Everything in this uh, infusion crafting has to balance. Otherwise, you get instability. So there's eight of them here. I'm going to go ahead and put these other four in like this. Not like that. So it has to be symmetrical. And there. And then we need our wand here. Use the good one. And let's take a look real quick at the Thominomicon. Once all uh, okay, so that takes 25 Ignis, 25 Terra, 25 Ordo, 25 Air, 25 Perdicio, and 25 Aqua. So let's uh, actually, I should have switched into my robes. We can use the wooden one for that. Let's go ahead and switch that because that'll use up everything there. And then we just come here and we're going to right click on that. And there we go. We have our infusion altar ready to go. Now, what we need to do, uh, everything's good here. Um, if you want to put down uh, additional stuff here, because remember, we put down all those um, skeleton skulls underneath here to give it some balance. But you could do more by putting down candles and crystals and skulls and things like that on the ground here to help with the stabilization of this thing. So that's done. Let's take a look in our quest book. That's the Thaumonomicon. Where's my quest book? There it is. All right. That is complete. All right. So we have our infusion altar so next thing I want to do here is this one called under construction let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick now that you've got essential distillation down pat maybe you can use those principles to use the cauldron in a more controlled manner building an alchemical construct on top of the crucible should allow you to insert essentia through this insert essentia through essential tubes rather than directly dissolving it in water. This may even allow automation of the process. So we need to make two alchemical constructs and also want to just make essential tubes. So we did that in the last episode. So let's take a look at alchemical constructs. Can we look at it in here? Yes, we can. So these are two essential valves, which um, uh, we didn't look at how to make, but we'll take a look at that in a moment. Two V filters, which you have four Essentia tubes and one great wood plank. So the Essentia valves, if we take a look at that, is an Essentia tube with a lever. Now, I don't know how many Essentia tubes I have left at the moment. I have four. I'm going to have to um, get some more. So um, let me get the stuff I need to craft those, and I'll be right back with you. All right, let's uh, do this real quick. So we need to, first of all, I need to make some Quicksilver Drops. And then it was like this. I need the glass. Should have some glass there. There we go. I only need two. I'm making a double batch of these. this and then it was silver drops and nuggets and that requires some aqua and some ordo grab all that so we got our 16 and I need four of these in total with that and that 
on my out of ordo. I used up all my ordo. All right. So, anyways, lever and ordo to uh, create those. So let me go get some ordo real quick, and I'll be right back with you. All right. Let's uh, try this now. There we go. Let's go ahead and grab our essentia valves. All right. Now let's take a look again at that recipe for that. And that was, where was that? Yeah, here. The alchemical constructs. We need great wood planks, two essentia valves, four essentia tubes, and a 2V filter. So let me get my, get some of this started up here. Like that, like that. Like that, two great wood planks. Let me get my V filters out of here. We need four of these. Like that, and like that. And there we go. We have our alchemical construct. All right. Do we have a reward to claim there? Yes, we get 16 alimentum, which are a good um, source of heat, and two uncommon treasures. So let's go ahead and claim those real quick. All right, let's uh, take a look real quick at what we got in our treasures. May as well. Let me get some of this junk out of my way here. I'm going to need that. All right. So what do we get? We got a knowledge fragment, some more gold coins, and two ender pearls, it looks like. All right, that's not too bad. Okay, so what is uh, this thing that we just made? It works very similar to our crucible here, but uh, you don't have to deal with the mess. So let me go ahead and put this down. Now what we need, first of all, we need to have, let me grab a piece of nitor, and let me put it in here. Do I want it? I think I need it out a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and put it down here. Probably rearrange this a little bit in the future here. But let's, um, first things first, uh, where's my nitor? The nitor is going to go down in here. I'm going to put down that block here just for the time being. I'm going to put a crucible there. Then it doesn't need water in it. Thank you. And then two of these on on top of the crucible. Like that. And that's the that part and now let's get our wand and hopefully I've got enough in it and, let's, and of course we don't what do we need that is ordo doesn't tell me here does it say anything it's all alembic stuff mm. under artifice
All right, well, I'm going to have to uh, look in this, and I'll be right back with you as soon as I find something. All right, well, I can't seem to find anything in the book, so, but I went out and I refilled the wand with Ordo. Let's see if this works. Now, there must be some piece of uh, the puzzle that I'm missing in some research to get that completed. But, yeah, normally you click on this, it becomes something, a device that you can put uh, Essentia directly in along with the catalyst and it will pull in the exact amount that it needs to create these things for it. Um, we just uh, can't do that right now. So we'll skip that for the moment. Um, let's uh, take a look at uh, something else here then. Um, let's come in to our Thaumonomicon. Let's come under Thaumaturgy here, and let's take a look at the Silverwood Wand Core, and see if we have what we need to do this. Silverwood has proved to be an excellent repository for magical energy, and wand cores crafted from it can store up to 100 V of each type. Uh, now this one's balance chart. I can't do that yet. I want to get that other thing going first before I can do any of that. Um, but let's take a look at something else. So let's take a look at the Thaumium wand caps. Thaumium is known for its ability to store and absorb magic, so using it to craft wand caps is a logical choice. It is very efficient at focusing V of all types. Crafting these wand caps in an arcane work table is not sufficient. They need to be infused with additional magical energy to make them usable. So Let's try this real quick. We're going to make um, two inner thomium wand caps. Uh, so we've got two pieces of thomium here. Let's go ahead and break those down into those. And then we're going to come in here. That, and then put our wand in here. Boom, boom. Go ahead and grab those. Now let's look at the next piece of the puzzle on this and see if we can do this. Uh, okay, we need to infuse them on the on the altar there to make charged thomium caps. But we need Salus Mundus to do that. Let's take a look at that. And that's also a balance shard. Okay, um, we're not going to be able to complete that either until I can get this thing up and running. We can, you can do balance shards the other way, but it's kind of a, um, a hassle getting everything that we need to do them um, in the, um, the, the crucible here without making a mess. Um, so let me think about this real quick and I'll be right back with you. All right. Well, I decided that'll be it for this episode. And I know it's kind of a, um, not a great episode because we didn't get an awful lot done. I thought I had all my research that I needed done in order to, to get these tasks that I wanted to do completed, but we at least got our infusion altar up and running. Um, I'll, I'll get some stuff together so that we can actually see it in operation and um, hopefully on the next episode. So until next time, this is Desert Rat. Have a good one. Goodbye. Goodbye.